What's up, fam? So I literally just got out of the movies. I just watched Dune. It's a pretty epic movie. And I guess it started raining while I was in there. So luckily I have my camera with me. And I actually want to show you guys my newest lens. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a 20 mil, 1.8. Absolute beast. And, you know, I want to show you just like the type of bokeh I can get with this lens. I guess mainly in this video, I want to show you how you could create some really cool depth and bokeh. And obviously the rain just makes it 10 times better out of just literally anything. This is when I say like I pay attention to the ground all the time looking for any type of texture like right here. See this little literally this tiny little sewer water sign right here. I'm going to start off at F2. F2, 125th of a second, ISO 100. Let's get it. I mean, look at that. Look at that preview. That's insane. Damn. get one a little further away to create not only not only to get that texture but to get those little that abstract in the bottom all right there's a car coming let's get out of the way but th this lens is just nuts i wish i could go to it's too late to go to the strip i gotta work early tomorrow morning but you know, I had to get some rainy shots right now before I head home. Uh, here, I was working on this. I'm trying to get some flares in front of the texture that are caused by the by the wet surface. Dude, that's insane. This lens is, I mean, I love my 10 to 20 mil, but you know, that aperture, you know, it really sucks for bokeh because it's a uh, 4.5 to F 5.6, I believe, which is, you know, it's, it's cool for long exposures, but when it comes to bokeh, like, you know, there's no beating a 1.8. Let's try to get a couple. I'm going to focus on the sign this time instead of the ground. See how that looks. Oh, these airplanes. We're really close to the airport. They just keep on passing by. All right, that looks cool. So now, you know, we're doing the opposite. We're creating, you know, just a different type of look by focusing on the sign instead of the ground. And, you know, when I'm doing these types of shots, you know, I... I wanted to make this video just to show you my process because when I do my POV videos, I kind of just pretty much put the final shot or the best one that I like in the video and then I move along. But, you know, I really take my time with these because there's so much you can do. You know, you can focus on the side of it, you know, like not just in the dead center, but just I focus on every little inch pretty much of this little sewer texture just to see what I can get. See, let's just do the side. Oh, that looks dope because I'm getting a reflection of the top of the theater. Oh, and the car got in the frame. That's not bad. You see what I'm talking about? Like, it's just a different look. It doesn't all have to be just dead center. Like, I focus on the, on the edges, you know, a little further away. And just get multiple shots. It's not just about getting one shot. Oh, okay. I like that. That looks dope. Fuck. I think I moved it. Nope, that came out clean. See what I'm talking about? See how I just... That's completely different from the shot I just got. Focusing on the right-hand side of it. I just, I love these types of shots, man. When it's raining, it's just, there's no beating this. This wind is killing me though. It's freezing. 
All right, enough with the texture. Let's see if I could get one good reflection shot using these cars right here. Got those little raindrops on them. Yeah, this wind. There's a nice putter right here. Let's get a reflection. All right, dude, that's enough. I am freezing. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. You know, I just wanted to show you guys my new lens and you know what it can do, but you know, I'm freezing. And I'll, I'll definitely be doing a longer video, a longer POV video of this lens soon. So stay tuned for that, you know. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.